Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela and today we are going to do something kind of fun. Uh, you may have remembered, I've been promising you this for quite some time, that um, over the holidays I made this cookbook slash memory journal for my mom and dad. And it took me a long time because I wasn't feeling so hot during uh, the time I was making it. So I got it all together. I ended up giving it giving it to them at Christmas, which we celebrated way later because there is everybody, all the sickies were inhibiting us getting together. So I gave this to them and then I was like, oh, I never did a flip through. So <clears throat> I thought today we would do a quick flip through and then we're going to make another one together. Uh, my mom uh, is gifting one to my second cousin as a memory book for uh, slash cookbook for my aunt who passed. And uh, so I need to finish that up like today. Maybe I have till tomorrow. I don't know, but they're leaving to go um, <laughs> visit them. So I better get it done. So let's go ahead and get started. I um, am not going to remember <laughs> what um, papers I use. So I apologize. It's been so long. Uh, and I was kind of in a haze, but I did use a lot of vintage um, fabrics to do the tassel. Some of these fabrics were actually from my great grandma, Amelia, um, on my mom's side. And so I used some of those original ones. I used some, um, some lace, some trim, and this is the back. And I put this on here so that it could be taken off. You know, I think my mom just keeps it on display, but you know, it does have recipes in it. So, and then this is um, an old milk top and some yo-yos. And then what I did is I <clears throat> had found um, a bunch of my grandmother's, my grandma Rose, which is my dad's mom, um, recipes and, um, you know, just some other things from some of the cookbooks that, um, I had had of her. So I took some of those recipes, used them. I um, then asked family members, you know, will you, um, some of your favorite recipes, will you make, uh, will you write them down and then we can add them to the, to the cookbook. So we have champagne cake. This was just one of my Betty Crocker recipes. This one was for Miss Pettigreaves lemon cake. This was from, this is not from our family, but it was um, something that I found in um, one of my auction finds. I did stick in some extra uh, hole reinforcers for her. And then this is from 1989. There were two of these in my grandmother's cookbook. Well, Randall's was a grocery that was um, just a tiny little grocery store. Um, I think they had them, you know, other places, you know, across, I don't know, the Midwest, but my brother had worked there and my mom, my dad, like that was his go-to. He wouldn't go to the big, big grocery stores. So I put those in there just for fun. Now, when I started this, I was going to do it as a Christmas journal, Christmas cookbook. And then I, I wasn't feeling it. So I switched it out, but I did start with, um, this Christmas page because it was a Christmas gift. And then all of these fabrics, that I used are from either my uh, Grandma Mo, the one that I talk about all the time, the quilter, or my great grandma, Amelia, and these are from her stash of vintage fabrics. So I did use all of those in there. And so each, uh, let's see, I have one, two, three, this one has a lot, four, I think I have five different signatures, but I had a lot to put in it. The one that we're going to do today is going to have a lot less. Um, you know, I had a lot of material to work with, so um, I wanted to add, you know, lots of things in it. So I just have, um, each signature has a fold out. Um, this was Landon's smoothie recipe. Banana, ice, blueberry yogurt, <laughs> and naked juice, one cup. See, you gotta know those. This is for, I wrote this way back. It was one of my first recipes I learned, but this is my handwriting from when I was in college for broccoli casserole. 
and then my grandma's recipe for cheesecake cookies. So just there's lots of little surprises throughout. Um, these This was from my grandma's cookbook. It was just a, a meatloaf with from Carnation, and I just included that in. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff, like, I don't know, but it is Angel Delight and her handwriting recipe. And then this looks like she was practicing probably with one of us grandbabies our addition and subtraction facts. So it was just fun to put all of these in there. This was in there from Randall's Aunt Edna's Frosted Creams, um, hot buttered rum. And then I put a tag in, oh gosh, I'm not gonna remember who these are from. Uh, just a journal tag. So if mom wanted to put a recipe on there in her handwriting, then she can, and then someday pass it on to maybe one of her grandbabies. This was from, these were little stickers that I found. These are uh, two recipes from my um, Uncle Mike. So he is known for his scotcheroos. He makes them every holiday. And then uh, his fresh salsa. So he wrote those and I uh, scanned them and and um, put them in there. So that was that signature. Uh, this one I did a little... Did I do this? Full? Yeah, this is just a fold out so a recipe can go in there. And then this one has, let's see, whose recipe is this? Oh, this is Demi's. How to make DIY lip scrub. Pumpkin spice. Seasoning, honey, brown sugar, coconut oil. Here's how you make it, everybody, so you know. Get some coconut oil and make sure that you have equally amount of brown sugar. Then add your flavor. You can use vanilla flavor too. Then your honey and mix. Easy peasy. There's your recipe of the day for DIY lip scrub. So you have soft, luscious lips. These are from um, my sister. And I just put it, I did find a couple of these. They, um, they didn't fit like I had wanted them to. So I had to fold them in half and, and adhere them with some Fabri-Tac. Um, this is just some baked brie that uh, I make often. And so then there's lots of pockets for her to add extra things. Here's some more uh, recipes. My grandma used to make really good divinity. I could not find her recipe, but I just put that little thing on there. Bread pudding and creamy chicken soup. These were not family recipes. I just had them. I liked how they looked. Another journal card. Oh, here's another recipe. Demi's Peppermint Eggnog Latte. Coffee, crushed candy canes, peppermint extract, eggnog, milk, ice, 12 ounce cup. How to. Look at that. She's got every step. My sister said, Aren't you, didn't, don't you want to keep those? And I'm like, I know where they're at. They've just been sitting in my recipe cabinet, so why not share them with my Nana and Papa? And then another fold out. There's some recipe cards in here. Um, another one of a pumpkin pie recipe in my grandma's handwriting. Another journal card. These are little um, clear. They stick right on, so I included a bunch of those. Oh, I need to leave. This is Demi. This is a snapshot of a video that she was doing. It's one of my favorites. Um, I can't remember what she was making. Something with funnels. So... These are all grandma's recipes. Another, and there's a side tuck here. So there's a, a side tuck here, a side tuck here, and a top pocket here. And this is another one of those sticky things with um, some just random. Oh, this one must be a recipe. Let's see. Yep. Refrigerator cookies. So those are all for my grandma. I didn't have a lot from um, Mo, and I couldn't really ask my mom to get any, so um, I figured she could get some of hers in her handwriting. I think I had one. Uh, this is another uh, tab from with the yo-yo and the milk tab. Um, this is filled with more. This is Landon's chocolate cake. <laughs> Microwave for 10, 70 seconds. Enjoy. This is like chocolate lava cake. He loves that. But this was from a long time ago. 
So it, it's kind of fun to have them add all those. This is just a no pocket. It's just the recipe. This is a pocket. And I think... I wish I could remember. I think one of them might have been from Blue Fern Studios. One of the... And then one I think is from Cartabella. I think this one might be. Here's a little tuck. Or I'm sorry, a pocket, a pocket. This is just room to write. Here is another one. With a, I think this might be a double pocket. Oh no, it's just a single. And then, what do we have here? Um, who's this from? Oh, this is from my sister-in-law. It is Hershey syrup brownies. This is um, a pasta I used to make when I lived in Colorado from a place that, I don't know if it's still there. It was called Choppers. So if anybody's from Colorado, you can tell me. Um, another one of my mom or my grandma's recipe. This is all kinds of tucks here. Tuck here. Or, sorry, I shouldn't say tucks. Pocket, pocket, and then a pocket here. Now, I'm not going to get as fancy on the one for my cousin because... It, she is, you know, not a junk journaler. This is really, truly just to hold her memories and the recipes. So this was one of those bags that I created out of the um, paper. I thought it kind of looked like parchment, so I used that. This is older than the hills um, I had in my stash, but I loved it. This is my two nephews and my niece in the school that they went to. Um, their teacher, when they, I think they were in, in kindergarten. And, uh they each got to make pizza. So it's interesting to see how they made it. So um, AJ said, you put some sauce on the pizza, then put cheese on it. Then you cook it for 20 seconds and voila, it's done. <laughs> T said, get some dough on a tray, then put the sauce and the cheese and the pepperoni and all that stuff on it. Put it in the oven for 35 <laughs> minutes. When it's done, you take it out, you cut it, then you eat it. And Bo said, get some bread, get some sauce, and put it on the bread. Put pepperoni and cheese on it. Then cook it in the oven for 12 seconds, and then you eat it. <laughs> I love those. I thought those were so cute. And then this is actually a picture of my grandma, Rose, and my dad. And then a whole bunch of just miscellaneous and with the Rose sticker behind it that I tucked in there as well. Um... It's just a page. I just add, added some vintage recipe cards. Another yo-yo. This is Sammy. There is Landon. He, um, when my dad was in Korea during Vietnam, he loved uh, Korean, Korean Oma, I think it's called. And Landon made his rendition of it. He's a really good cook. And then this is my Grandma Moe's recipe for chocolate pixies. You know, the little chocolate ones with the powdered sugar. Those are Landon's favorites. So um, I made a copy of the recipe and put it as the page. This was in my great-grandma um, Amelia's um, stash. So I used that in there for the little apron. And then my grandma's recipe, recipe for strawberry pie. This is from Triple V Vintage. I love that. Uh, her dilly bread, which I actually won first place at, um, in 4-H using her dilly bread recipe. So that was awesome. Um, just another one that was in her stash. Um, a recipe for my brother-in-law. My homemade spaghetti sauce. This was when I worked for United. I had a, a guy who was Italian and he, he and I traded recipes and that was his recipe he shared with me. This is Rhea. She also loves to cook. This was um, part of, it's just a little tiny recipe book from the Iowa Department of Social Service Food Pro Programs Office. So probably a, you know, giveaway or, you know, a fundraiser. And then it just ends with another pocket here so they can add more. So that's kind of the inspiration for today. <clears throat> so here's what I've got so far. This is a little bit bigger, um, but I went ahead. You probably saw that haul where I got that huge doily. And so I um, covered it in fabric. I put the um, book corners on. I ended up sewing before I put the cover on. I sewed uh, 
this pocket, which is an old vintage fabric from my grandma, Amelia, and then this on, and then glued this on top and then made this into a pocket. And now I'm not gonna get this back in there correctly. Oh, there's a guest check in here, hang on. So you can put some recipes on that. And then I used three yo-yos and just covered the back with that fabric as well. One tip, so I first had a different cover that I did my mom and my grandma's on. It was, like many, um, kind of a slick or, yeah, kind of a slick background. And when I first did the, and I had two of them, luckily, so I could use, I could change it out. Um, but when I glued the fabric tack on, it, it ended up pulling up. So just a quick tip, what I did with this one is I used... Um, clear gesso and covered the whole entire thing. Uh, the other thing you can use, I don't know if I have any down here. Let me look, but it's a, if, if you're okay. Oh, I do. I think here it is. If you are okay with it and you know, you'd want to do this outside. This is something I use a lot. I use this in some of my, um, when I upcycle, um, some of my furnishings this is what you would use. It's self-etching primer. They use it a lot in um, like car, like if you're painting something that would be like a motorcycle, something. It, it helps it adhere to whatever you're painting. So it's, it's etching. It's etching out uh, whatever material that you're painting on and it gives it the paint something to grab on. Uh, this was from an idea that was shared for me by our number one painter, whose name is Dave, not my husband, Dave. And he said, this works really great. It works awesome on furniture and it does work on your um, covers. If you have a pre-made cover that has a shiny surface. So just so you know, it's called Rust-Oleum Primer Self-Etching Primer. So there you go. You know, you might have to use a little tape around it, depending, you know, especially if the inside is also slick. Um, this one was not. So inside, um, that side of my family is from Ka Kansas. And so I know this was kind of travel related, but it does say Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad Ray System. I just thought it kind of went along with it. And then I added the little pockets here as well. So that's as far as we've gotten with the cover. So let me move that aside. Let me show you what I've done so far with signatures. And like I said, I didn't want this to be as big <clears throat> because I want her to be able to add things to it. And as a sidebar, remember those little, these things are actually twist ties. Apparently they're reusable twist ties. I haven't figured really out how you do them for that, but they work great to keep my, when I'm working on a journal to keep my, all my signatures together. So that's what I used them for. So we have, I did three signatures with seven seven pages inside. So I have, let's see, this one. Oops, that one's upside down. That one, that one. And she was also, a, a, she was a quilter, so I did do some that were kind of sewing related. And then I took out of one of my um, vintage cookbooks, uh, a tab, and then a couple of little pages, and then in each one will have a um, place to put recipes. And I did that because, you know, when you start putting stuff in there, it really fills up. So, um, this was the second one. Well, that was, so this one has, this is from Blue Fern Studios for sure. I think it's called Homespun, maybe. This one as well. This one's from Cartabella, as is this. Nope, this was a random piece that I found somewhere in my stash. And then another set of recipes. Like I said, I tried to make this really simple. And then the last one, same thing. And then we've got that one. And I kind of mixed, you know, a little bit of old, a little bit of new, kind of mixed it up a little bit. So we, we will probably have to add some more pages, but let's go ahead 
let's get these in there and then just kind of see what we want want to do from that point. This is kind of cool too. So you see how this is offset from here? It's so that the spine, there's plenty of room, which I kind of liked. So if I were to do another one of these, I would do that the same way. All right, so let's put the pop these in and then we'll see about what we have, first of all, for embellishments. And then we can decide if we need to add some additional ones. I'll have to go back through and put all the whole reinforcers in, but I'm not going to do that right now. I just want to get these in. And the way that I did this in my mom, um, my mom and dad's journal is, I made it so all the pages could go in between the kind of journal. I love working with binders, especially small ones. Oh, I didn't check to make sure this is going to fit. <laughs> Look at that. Let's put this. No, we'll put it afterwards just to give it a little more. I did have to pop some additional holes in this. Okay, so we've got one down. Ooh, is that going to work? See, I might have the same problem I had. Let's see when we fold it. Oh, no, it will be fine. See, my mom's stuck out, but it won't go inside of this flap. So we'll just put everything inside the flap. And I was a little off on that one. Which means I'm probably off on all of them that are like that. Okay, let's do this one that's kind of a fun, whimsical one. And I think for the sake of this, I am going to just leave it in there. Because I can always take them out and sew them if I wish. I should have just stuck this all in there before I got on here. But oh, I didn't think of it that way. So it's all kind of consistent. Then we can just add the pockets, add what we need. I did pull out some ephemera, pre-made ephemera that I had, and we'll see how that works. These are definitely going to need, see those are not, not in a good, good shape. So we're going to have to use um, whole reinforcers for those. All right. Do I have them all yet? You can see already with just these three signatures, it's kind of filling up fast. Stay there. So I hope you have all been well. I have not done my shout out yet and I want to tell you all thank you for subscribing and um, for all of my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and coming along for the ride. I appreciate you. What am I doing? Um, specifically uh, to new subscribers, Ann Busser, and to a longtime supporter of the channel, Carrie Guile. Carrie, if you, um, you've probably heard me talk about her before. She is the, um, she has a page called Junk Journal Central. It is one of my very favorite pages, and um, it's a great place to get inspiration and, um, you know, just, it's a very free, free group of play and having fun and sharing your videos and your work and all of that. So I would highly suggest that you check that out. And also it is June 8th, which means we are well into, uh, our school's out for summer sale. So make sure that you pop on over and check out our Etsy shop to restore you everything from digitals to um, physical products. And I've, I'm trying to add, you know, a few things here and there as we go. Um, we'll be on sale 20% off. So go check it out. All right. Let me, let me show you what I've got here to play with. We're going to start from where we are. So I had this just because, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. And it was in my stash from who knows how many years. I do have a paper bag. I don't know if that's something that is is going to work. Um, but I may, when we get to the embellishing, I've got this that I thought was kind of fun. And these are the old um, 
placemats. So I don't, I don't know how they're embossed. I don't know how exactly I will use them, if at all. Uh, my fear is this needs to be probably more usable than, um, you know, it's pretty in a memory book. So I want to, I want to keep that in mind with, from like a fragile standpoint. And that is just my template. And then I have all of my scraps that I've done from all of the pages that I made. The unfortunate part was this was six and a half by eight and a half. So I couldn't use, I couldn't get two pages out of a 12 by 12. I mean, I probably could have made them smaller, but I didn't. Um, and then I have all of these. And I do not remember, I just kind of said that. These are all cooking phrases. And Oh, here we go, maybe. Does it say here? Mm, no. Darn it. I should know who made that. I just, I'm sorry, I can't remember. And then I have all of the papers left. So this is, I um, I ordered this from one day long ago. This is the homespun kit. So we have this as options to use as maybe some pockets if we need them. Whoa, I'm spilling things, more pages. It's just beautiful. This is the one I've already used, which we may use again. Sewing cards. Family sewing machines, a little sampler. It's, it's beautiful. So this is what we're going to be working with to finish this out. I also, I liked the idea of using some, oh, this is from Journey of Crafting. Huh, I don't know. Um, this is Older Than the Hills as well. It's by Sweetness Pink Paisley. It goes with that, um, like, big doily that I had. And then this is um, Cartabella Farm to Table that I had used a few. I don't know really with the veggies if I want to, you know, use a lot of these. But there's the old milk tops. So we've got some, what's this from? Not from the same, oh, this is more Cartabella, um, Blue Fern Studios. It's just more of the same pages, so... And then they had these because I thought I have some pictures. My mom has given me some pictures to scan. Um, and I've got some recipes. So I thought maybe I could use something in there if I need be. So we'll put that over here. I need to kind of get organized here. And then what else do I have? This is all the things that my mom sent. Um, pictures and things that I can stick into that when we get to it. And then these are all... Let's move this part. The things that I've got. I thought about using this heart, but I don't think I will. This is some of the additional fabric, so we can use that to make the, the um, hello, what do you call it? Tassel. Here's that for the tassel. I, I also, on that same, from the cover, from this cover, I kept this and all of this, and I thought that would be cool to do, to sew on a couple of pages, just to kind of pull it and tie it together. I've got um, some lace, we've got some yo-yos, we'll use some more of these milk tabs. Hang on, I'm grabbing it all out. And then I did add, this is one of the um, faux enamel um, pieces that I did on the 20th of May. I thought we might be able to use that. Let me move this back out of the way. All right, so we've got all of that. We've got all of this fabric. We need to keep that nearby. Now let's see what we've got here. Um, oh, this is one of the pockets that I did, I thought. And, you know, the little tucks that we did, kind of reminiscent of the, um, what do you call those? Bulletin boards. I've got one of my vintage wallpaper pieces. Oh, more of these if we need them. Put those up with the adhesives. Oh, I did some of my homemade buttons. Did I do a video on this? I don't know if I did. A couple tags. So I think, okay, here's a belly band. This we can use as a pocket. These will be later. Um, I'm just going to stick this in somewhere because... It's, they're from Kansas. What else do I have? 
I did save this. This goes with that as well, so we can maybe add that. So we've got pockets here. Oh, I made this envelope out of the piano roll, so I think we can find that a place for that. I also found, this was in another one of my um, cookbooks. There's a bunch of these, and they're just envelopes, so I th thought we would put that in there. These are all journal cards that were from other things, and I thought, well, I could just stick them all, well, what I am going to do is stick them all in there, and if they want to journal on them or, you know, make memories and write in there, they can. Um, these are all recipes, cards, more recipe cards. We've got, this is a doily that is from wallpaper that I cut out. Um, more recipe cards. I don't, these probably won't work in there, but we can use the actual recipe cards. And another pocket. So we've got, we've got some pockets and tucks. I've got some more recipe pieces, some more advertisements, and grocery store advertisements. Oh, here we got more. Um, I'm not sure why I put the photo mounting corners in there, but I did. <laughs> Got another piece we could use as a belly band. More tags. Like I said, I just kind of pulled out. I don't know. I think this I thought was cute because it, it's one of my the tea bags that we did. And it has the little piece on there. Uh, okay, that's a tag. Tag, we got a pocket. I don't know why that doesn't really go, but this is not supposed to go in here. That's for another project. Pocket, pocket. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Uh, let's see. And then I thought this, this, remember I got in one of my hauls. This is a lemon flavored gelatin. Here's another pocket. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not doing too shabby. We may have just enough. This is the, one of the um, flip outs that I did with a pocket in the middle. This is one from, a thr from one of my thrift hauls. This could be pocket, more belly bands, more tags, another pocket, and another pocket, and a fabric flip. So let's get to it. Wow, I guess I was really way more organized than I initially thought. <laughs> Miracles cease to uh, happen. So I think what we'll do is we'll, let's get what we have in here covered. And then we can go back, maybe make some more pages. Um, gosh, I kind of like that there. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's a maybe. Let's just do all of our pockets first. Um, just make sure that they're all going to fit. Oh, and then I have some other randomness here too. Okay, more pockets. Now this one is a little bit bigger, so it would have to go on something like this. Should we put it on there? So let me see how this went. I have a pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. Okay, let's do it. And maybe what else? Should I leave it open? Can you guys see that? Okay. I'm thinking no. Because I'm afraid that, well, we could just glue it right down here and then it can be a tuck. Like around here and then there and there could be extra tucks. That's what we'll do. Oops, I went over the edge there. I just filled my glue bottle and apparently I'm going to glue all that down because this is kind of a thick piece of cardstock. And these larger pieces, <clears throat> it's hard for me to give you uh, measurements because, you know, every, 
like the one that I did for my mom and dad is not the same size whatsoever of this one. Um, so I just kind of had to improvise as I went. That's what, that's what happened there. Okay. So we've got this. I don't think I want to put really much on here, but this belly band might work. We can just do that there. So if she wants to tuck things in, like I said, I'm not going too crazy with a lot of hidden pockets, a lot of fancy schmancy. And if you're, you know, making one of those, just making something for someone, I think we'll put a pocket here. You know, just keep that in mind. Maybe we'll do one on each one of those. Oh, you know what I've got? Hold on a second. I have these big ones. But those aren't it. Hold on. Here we go. Let's see if these will work. And if they do, I think they'd be better. Okay, so I have... I think that they'll work. And then each one in the inside, although it's white, so you won't be able to see all that. Oh, my tummy's growing. Right? Yeah, it's white. Do I want to ruin that by... I'm saying no. All right, let's just put one of these on there. And these are just little pockets. And remember, if you're doing... A, if this may be used in actually in, a, in someone's kitchen... You know, kind of keep that in mind. Like, that's why I made the, um, what do you call that? Tassel. I keep forgetting. My goodness. That's why um, I leave, left the tassel or so you could remove it. These, I have no idea where I got them, but I do love them. And they make perfect little pockets, but apparently I need one more. Okay, so we got those two. We got one more. Here we go. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get um, my ducks in a row, which, you know, is probably not ever going to happen. But, okay, we got that. Let's go back to where we were. Um, nope, let's not. Let's go back to... this front. We need something substantial here. Um, I kind of like this. Let's make sure it works. Yeah, well. Uh, and kind of getting ready to do, you know, I'm like I said, adding a lot of items to the shop and kind of getting organized getting organized for our farmer's market. I have a wedding. And I'm just hoping that June is just full of not too many obligations besides softball and, oh, we got a little spot that didn't get. This is from, um, this piece is from my uh, collage book and it was from an old, um, I think it was from an old magazine, and I just collaged everything that was kind of alike. Um, and that's where we ended up with that. Okay, so let's just do this last one. And this is not, you know, if you, let me walk you through my, my steps. So normally what I do is I figure out what theme I'm going to use. And I'm going to put that in the back. So I figure out my theme. I'm trying to figure out how I would want this. I'm thinking I just want it on here like that, and then we need a belly band. Once I figured out my theme, I'm not liking that there. Then I actually um, pick out my papers. Once I've picked my papers out, yeah, this looks better. Uh, I pick out all of my um, papers that I'm going to use. I'm going to make this a pocket too. And the last thing I actually do is, oh, Angela, 
is pick is decide on my cover. Because for me, that seems to be the most difficult for some reason. And so I just wait to do that. All right, I don't know. We might have to make a belly band for this. I really want to use this because I think it's cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in, but I think I'm just going to stick it in the back um, with a little paper clip. It's kind of an extra little, oh no. Shoot, can I make it fit? I can. Okay, let's just mark it. That one will work. That was the same thing that happened with my, um, with the recipe card things. Okay. Are we good? Are we good? We're good. Okay, let's get out a little paper clip. Why don't we use a big one? That seems fun. Let me find one. Hmm. I was thinking red, but I'm not seeing any red ones. Pink's too pink. I think we're going to go with orange. There we go. That'll be nice because then you can mark your spot with it if you wanted. Okay. So that is done. So then after I get all of my um, pages cut and I decide on um, my cover, then I look through all of my ephemera, see what I've got on hand first. And then if I we need to make ephemera, then we can do that later. Uh-oh, this got moved. Is that going to stay down? How is my wipe? I'm going to... I want to do something else, too. I think... I don't know. It might be kind of fun. These little clips that are um, sewing clips might be kind of fun to use on each one of these three. We'll make that a consideration. And it might make it too bulky, but then again, it might not. Okay, so we finished that one. We've got that inside. We're going to put a clip on there. And... That's kind of fun, I think. Let's see when it's closed. Yeah, I like that. Kind of different. I am totally not into, like, loose threads, but I'm trying to <laughs> get over it. Okay. So we have this ready to stuff. I, I like this just like it is. We Somebody can write a recipe on it. This seems to need a word. This could be for recipes. This needs something. Let's see what we've got. Possible. Is that going to be too long? This is going to be way too long. So that's kind of out. That's out of the mix. Oh, this is kind of pretty, too. This is one of my digitals. I don't know if I like it there, though. We could just put this in. No, I think that needs to go on one of those bright pages. How about this? Nope. This is our other option. Mm, that probably is better, isn't it? Okay, that's it. And so then after I have... Um, and this is just on these binders because you, you all know that I, when I'm uh, sewing in signatures or doing something else that's, you know, permanent, I always... Um, I don't sew my signature signatures in until I'm completely done. Okay. 
That needs something too. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, this might work. This belly band might work. Let me see, will it? No. <laughs> hmm. These might be all too naturey. I don't know why exactly these are in there, to be quite honest. What are these? I don't know. I'm not sure why all this is in here, but it doesn't, it's not working for this journal. So it's going bye-bye too. I think it might, might have got mixed in with some other journal that I was working on. I finished a whole wallpaper journal the other day too. Okay, we need to, this needs some thought. Oh, you know, hold on. No. I'm just looking here. I don't really want another pocket there. We'll think about that. This definitely needs something. I wonder, what if we did a belly band just to add some... This kind of pulls this this together, this here, but it needs something. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. This kind of goes with that a little bit better as a belly band, but we could we could do it this way. Trim it down just a smidgey over here and then have this be a belly band, but this way. Let's do that. Oh, I need to watch my time because I'm guessing I'm going to need to come back for part two. Oh, yes, for sure. We'll finish this one up and then I will come back and we will carry on with our next part, okay? But the goal is that I am going to finish this today. With all of your help, we shall see. <laughs> okay, so we've made some pretty good progress. We just have, this needs, this needs some love. And then we'll come back and we'll just keep doing our pockets and tucks and all that stuff. And remember, I'm keeping this really simple because this is for someone who's not no, not necessarily a journaler. What I think I might do before I come back is um, just to save some time, stick all of the um, recipe cards in. So I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope this is um, helping. I know some of you had questions about doing cookbook type journals and that maybe some of my ideas might spark something uh, for you to try out, but we will be back with part two soon. And I, as always, want to wish you a fabulous day. Remember to take time for you to just be, and we will see you soon. Cheers.